Viewers, welcome to program 2 in our English video learning series for grade 6. Today we are going to look at how to engage in argument, to agree and disagree politely, to read with understanding and to extract specific information in order to complete a task. Of course, we as people, we differ from one another. We have different opinions and values, so therefore we will always disagree. But the key here is to make room for the different opinion, which is then different from ours. But in order to do, uh, to do that, we need to have respect for one another. So in this program, we will discuss the polite way to engage in arguments, agreeing and disagreeing. And we will learn how to extract specific information from people to complete a range of tasks. Enjoy the program with us. Come on girls. I think the two of you need to learn on a few rules how to engage in arguments. The rules are always respect the opinions of others. Listen to one another. If you listen to the other party, they have a moral duty to listen to you too. It works both ways. Always be sure about your facts. It does not help that you argue about something you think is true, but you are yourself not sure about it. When you disagree, be polite about it, and make sure you end the argument in a positive way. Even if you agree to keep different views, acknowledge the views of others and remain friends or polite communicators. Marsha's mom says, if Marsha has a cell phone, how do we know whom she is talking to? Video games are bad for children, and the internet is dangerous and uncontrolled. It's like having a loaded gun in the house. We should just ban her from using the computer, and I'm not buying her cell phone until she is 18. This is the only way we can be sure that Marsha is safe. Do you agree with 
Marcia's mum. Okay. Hmm? Don't agree, agree. No. Yes. No. Yes. I agree. No. I do not agree. I don't know. Well, let's see what Marcia's father thinks. Marcia's dad disagrees with his wife, although he agrees that there are some dangers to the modern technology. He likes the internet and finds it to be very useful. One evening, he spoke to Marcia's mom. The trouble is, he said, we cannot just stop Marcia from using the internet, as this would put her at, the, at the, the, a disadvantage compared to other children who know how to use this technology. And I like video games myself. I think that when played in moderation, they are fun. Obviously, it is not good to play violent games and to play, play them without restraint or self-control. And my dear, I think it is time Marsha got her own cell phone. She is old enough to use it with care, he said. And what are you smiling about? We are just glad that Marcia's father is making her mother lighten up first. Now, who wants to tell us what we have read about? Yes, you yes. can answer. Thank you, thank you, Clara. Greekers, can you please answer? There was a girl named Marcia. Most and her mom was so strong. She was not allowed to use any cell phones or gadgets. Gadgets? Rodriguez, any gadgets? Well, we'll get to that. Thanks for the broad outline of the text. Now, tell me who is the main character in the text. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Julian. Hi. Marsha was. No, my mom. Both answers are correct. Thank you, Julian. It's actually Marsha that I wanted to hear. And does Marsha have a cell phone? Because her mom. Thank you, Julian. That's all I was asking. Does she have a cell phone or not? No, she does not have one. All right. Now my question is, why does she not have one? Is older. Man, her mom would not allow her to have one, just like my mom. <laughs> Learners, do not add unnecessary information when you are asked questions in a reading comprehension test. Simply answer that which was asked. Now, why doesn't Marsha's mom want her to have a cell phone? Thank you, Miata. I guess Marsha's mom is one because she does not want to hear Marsha be speaking on the phone. That's right. Now learners, when we do a reading comprehension, we are required to look for specific information to answer the questions asked. These questions all relate to the text we were given to read, and the answers should also relate directly to the text. No additional information should be added. No relevant information should be left out. The questions we are asked in a comprehension task can be like what what is the name of the main character in the text who who agrees that Marsha should have a cell phone of her own where when are the computer games found which are so dangerous when played uncontrolled when when did Marsha's father confront her mother about the use of these technologies for Marsha why why is Marsha's mother worried about the use of the internet? And how? How could Marsha be at a disadvantage compared to other children if she is not allowed to use the internet? Right class, will you be able to answer comprehension test properly now? Yes! By the way, Beata, I have nothing against the, the use of cell phones for doing schoolwork. 
or use in cases of emergency after school. But the school rules are clear. No mobile phones are allowed on the school grounds. Uh, Isolde, do you have got something to say? But, but, miss. No, 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 miss. You can explain to the headmaster. Off you go. And take your cell phone along. The headmaster has got quite a collection of cell phones of all your disobedient children. Miss, but... Come, come, his order. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. We have spoken about how to engage in arguments politely, agreeing and disagreeing with the viewpoints of others. We look at different rules to consider when disagreeing. And we read and discuss the comprehension task where we learn to ask certain questions to extract specific information. Questions such as what, who, where, when, why and how. Again, it has been a pleasure to be in your company on this program. Join us again soon for lesson three in our series, which will be about responding to poems. We will look at the attitudes and emotions expressed by poets. Until then, from all of us in the Harab Educational Multimedia Project team in Namibia, goodbye.